Hello, I'm Kavita Manivanan. I'd like to invite you to join me on my podcast, Life Uncompromised. I'm a personal branding expert and life coach. कुछ बातों का मतलब कुछ मतलब की बातें क्या मतलब हेलो माय लिसनर्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन टुडे व्हाट आई वांट टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट टुडे इज हैबिट्स दैट विल कीप यू काम ड्यूरिंग स्ट्रेसफुल टाइम्स एंड हाउ वर्किंग ऑन थिंग्स दैट मैटर इज व्हाट एक्चुअली मैटर्स Now during tough times it's easy to get lost in spirals of stress and anxiety that leads to endless worrying about the future or obsessively reliving past painful experiences and procrastinating on the goals that really matter in your life. Unfortunately many of the habits we fall into during stressful times only makes our stress worse in the long run. Worry leads to panic and chronic anxiety. Reliving painful past life experiences just takes you into self-doubt and depression and procrastination leads to shame and low self-esteem. And guess what happens to stress when you multiply it by anxiety and depression and shame? It just gets worse and a lot worse. Now there's a silver lining here. While bad habits intensify stress, good habits shield you from it. which means if you want to deal with stress in a healthy way you need to build better habits you need habits that safeguard you from stress before it takes complete control over you and creates havoc in your life you need habits that keep your mind calm and your focus sharp these habits will help you keep you balanced calm and grounded when it feels like as if the entire world around you is just going to pieces firstly manage your stressors and not your stress the people i counsel are shocked often when they hear me say that stress management is usually just a waste of time now why i say so is because there's a clear distinction stress is your reaction to a stressor and a stressor is anything that causes the stress reaction can you see the difference here stressors are the cause and stress is the result now you would never treat a gunshot wound with a with a bandaid because the bleeding is not the real problem it's just a symptom of the underlying problem which is the organ damage from the bullet inside your chest now if you take a bandaid approach to treating a gunshot wound you're going to run into two big problems one it won't actually work it might just temporarily stop some bleeding but there's still a bullet inside your chest and the bleeding will likely continue internally two it distracts you from the real problem the real solution to a gunshot wound is surgery you need to just get in there remove the bullet and repair any damage that is there internally that's a much more complicated painful and time consuming solution to your problem but at least you're addressing the right problem here managing your stress is like treating a gunshot wound with a bandaid you're managing the symptom but avoiding the cause now here's a specific example let's say you're chronically stressed most days after work you just get home walk through that door and are committed to spending quality time with your family and relaxing but you just can't seem to let go of your work your mind is so obsessively alternating between the worry about that deadline that just that's just around the corner and how much of an idiot your bo- boss is being now so you decide to get serious about stress management and you schedule a weekly massage you download a mindfulness app on your phone and then you start reading up a couple of self help books about how to cultivate a more positive attitude at work and blah blah Now I got nothing against massages mindfulness or self help books per se but it's insane to think that these things are just going to magically fix your chronic stress and the reason for that is your problem isn't the stress your problem is the stressors you're in a job you hate with people you don't respect doing work that doesn't matter of course you're stressed 
stress management techniques like 5 minutes a day of mindfulness or a weekly massage are appealing because they are relatively easy and low risk but often they are just a distraction a way to procrastinate on addressing the real issues in your life that are causing stress in the first place now if you really feel want to feel less stressed in your life and stop getting distracted by stress and learn to look carefully for the stressors in your life then work like hell to eliminate them or at least set boundaries on them nobody likes surgery but it's better than living in denial with a box of band-aids stay tuned in for my next podcast where i will talk more on getting a better grip over eliminating these devastating stressors and leading a life that's fun filled with excitement and enthusiasm than one that's depressing and boring so cheers stay blessed until next time stay awesome see you soon